Oh, are you chasing your tail, little kitty? Tail, annoying. Well, if you being so small find it annoying, I wonder what would happen if humans had tails too. Wait a minute. This seems like an interesting scenario to explore. Hey friends, let's answer this wagging question. What if humans had tails? Zoom in! Tails play a super important role in the animal kingdom as they boost agility, provide stability, aid in communication, act as cool defensive weapons and even assist in moving through the water. While lots of animals get to enjoy the perks of having these awesome extra tools, humans unfortunately didn't get this gift from Mother Nature. Or did they? Yes, our primate ancestors sported long prehensile tails, handy for grabbing branches and performing various functions. However, approximately 25 million years ago, when great apes went their separate ways from monkeys, our ancestors opted for tailless evolution. This decision saved energy and calories, allowing for improved bipedal balance. But today, let's ignite our imagination and delve into a hypothetical scenario where humans kept their tails, exploring how this unique feature might have influenced our day-to-day -day experiences. In this case, the first thing it would have affected is human anatomy. Yes, having a tail could ease back strain by balancing weight and reducing lower back pressure. However, supporting the tail might entail altering the spine, potentially changing its curvature and the position of the pelvis, impacting overall body shape and posture. As we know, tails in animals play a crucial role in maintaining balance and agility. Similarly, if humans had tails, it might enhance balance during activities like running, jumping or climbing, providing extra support on narrow or uneven surfaces. Plus, tails in animals are like their own emoji language, expressing feelings from excitement to fear. So, if humans had tails, we could join the non-verbal communication party by wagging our tails to express joy or tucking them between our legs for a touch of fear or shyness. Not only that, tails would extend beyond communication. They would also serve as a mode of expression in the world of fashion. Folks could jazz up their tails with all sorts of colors, funky patterns and cool accessories showcasing their unique personality and flair. In addition to clothing, accessories such as belts, bags and backpacks would have looked different to accommodate the tail. Additionally, our furniture would need a makeover and we would have had chairs with tail-friendly gaps in the back, allowing those tails to swing freely without squashing our tail bones. Even beds would come with tail holes, turning stomach sleeping into a tail-tastic experience. However, in the tail world, we'd probably witness the most significant changes in our bathrooms and toilets. Absolutely, toilets would need a makeover, sporting larger seats to fit those tails comfortably. Additionally, bathroom etiquette would need tweaking as people must learn to position themselves on the toilet to avoid tails hitting the walls or other objects in the bathroom. Also, the tech wizards would get busy creating prosthetic tails for those without or who lost theirs. Furthermore, technology could be developed to enhance the abilities of a natural tail for greater control and accuracy of movement. In a nutshell, having tails in our human toolkit would have shaken up how we talk, express ourselves and flaunt our physical skills. Yet, let's be real. 
I bet nobody's losing sleep over not having tails. Can you imagine the wardrobe struggles? Phew! Trivia time! Did you know some modern humans are born with vestigial tails? Yes, but these tails do not serve any functional purpose and they are almost always surgically removed. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Akshat Singh. Hope you enjoyed today's tale. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs>